Victoria's first parliamentary librarian was Charles Ridgway. He was a librarian from 1851 to 1863. Ridgway commenced his parliamentary life as a clerk and then later assistant clerk and librarian of the new Legislative Council in 1851. It wasn't until November 1856 that Ridgway's appointment was gazetted. He was the librarian of the Legislative Council and the Legislative Assembly. Librarianship wasn't Ridgway's background. In fact, all he did was check the inventory of materials coming in from overseas. Developing the collection was the task and responsibility of the Library Committee, who had members such as Sir Edmund Barry and John Pascoe Faulkner. The library was housed in the lower floor of St Patrick's Hall in Burke Street, which is now demolished. That was the home of the first Legislative Council. However, the lower part of the hall was too inconvenient for members and more space was needed for meeting and committee rooms, so the library had to move to a weatherboard shed at the back of the building. As you could imagine, this room was quickly filled with over 3,000 books and more in crates stood waiting. And by 1860, the collection had grown to over 15,000 books. But the new library was about to come. In 1861, the new library had opened in Parliament House, and by 1863, the collection had grown to over 20,000 volumes. Also in 1863, Charles Ridgway was encouraged to retire. He died two years later. <laughs>